Hello everybody, Terrahawk37 here. Uh, welcome back to Let's Mess Around in Elder Kings as an Argonian, and let's see... Well... Let's just see what else happens. Okay, so it'll cost another 50 gold to upgrade from a tiny mark town to a small market town. Trying to see if there's any difference between this description, the description of the next one, and then our current version, and there doesn't seem to be. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, how how'd your war go? Did you lose? Yeah, that's what I thought. Actually, let's take a look at him. Okay, so he's a coward. He's proud. He's diligent, and he's temperate. And he's got some experience. Are you part of? A no, you're not part of any guild. So, oh hey, what the heck is that? Okay, well, Medesi, you are apparently now a, you're now a direct leader level one, and you're going to get, oh, you got plus two martial, nice. So now you have a five. Oh, you're a shadow scale, what? Oh, right! I forgot about that. Yeah, when Argonians are born under the sign of the shadow, they are... Hmm. Uh, they're called a shadow scale. But yeah, the main thing I'm worried about right now is the leader of this uh, you know, high chief Gulam Eye of Arkham. I'm just worried he's going to be a, a real jerk. Uh, I could potentially just try to be nice to him. That'd probably be a good move. Just kind of ease his mind a bit, make him less likely to invade us. Ooh, and now we're doing the enchanting thing. Like, I don't really read these because it's, it's all pretty much the same thing. Of You do this, you automatically do it. There's pretty much no failure, at least for the Mage's Guild stuff. I'd kind of like, I'd sort of like to see that, but at the same time, not really. Okay, have I been in this for three years yet? Okay, cool, so next time, so pretty soon, I'm going to be able to rank up to a journeyman in the Mage's Guild. He's currently led by Archman Shalador the Old, who is also immortal because, of course, he is. Aren't we getting any special magic based on your culture? I don't think so. I think it's like more based on like any specializations you have, or, you know, if you're an actual mage, or just happen to take a mage specialization. I wonder if it's also dependent on traits. There's a lot I don't know about this. Okay, I, I actually don't think I can influence him because I have no prestige, so I'm just going to stop swaying him because I don't think it'll work out well. Oh, but he does desire the chiefdom of Padmaic. <sighs> what to do? What to do? It might be a good idea for me to just... Oh, gosh, what are you doing? No. You stop that. You stop that right now. Ooh, that's something I can do to help help myself out. If I have enough mana, let's see, I have 30. I open up my spell book and transmute. I'll cast a moderate version of the spell. And now I'm getting two gold per month. Or 2.33 gold per month. That'll speed things up. 
That's one of the really cool things about being a mage in this game, is that you can basically just give yourself free money. You can also curse people, but I usually don't do that. I'm also not very good at this game, so maybe you shouldn't be looking to me for advice on how to be a good player. Oh, sweet. Now you're even better at your job. You're a good flanker. You're also my best commander. So it's kind of also, can I please, like, get a child, please? I know we're in different places now, but come on. Okay, so this lasts for, like, 10 years. 10 years, it's 12 months, it's 120 months. Hello? Cult of Clavic is vile. Okay. I don't really think I want to ransom that person back. Uh, I guess teach me to be a pious man. I'm guessing... I don't know if it's actually like caused by the dragon fires not being lit or if it's just a weird coincidence but I do like to but I like to think that it's like because the dragon fires aren't lit the pact is broken and so the Daedra are slowly trying to worm their way into the world and like I, in the last game I played you, like, somewhere over here, there was, like, the cult of Sheogorath that was the county's, um, uh, religion. And then somewhere over here was the cult of Maroon's Dagon. And, like, they, they, they just kept popping up everywhere, different cults all over the place. And so that was kind of a cool thing of, you know, you need to be careful. Let's see, King Lord and Guitar of Adamantia. What you do when? Yeah. Um, hmm. Luma. Ooh. Durkithis. You got a bit of a bloody eye there. Hist learning. I don't know, should I do like the Hist thing? That might be fun. Ooh, Adopt Merchant Republic, how do I do that? But fighting is pointless, I don't want to get in a fight. Uh, uh, 25 more. Let's see, some of our warriors. Adopt Merchant Republic, what does it take? Uh, I need to be higher than count, really? Seems arbitrary. Uh, let's see, Capital Holding, one of these must be true. There's a grand market town in the Ptolemaic tribe. Okay, I could probably get that. Metal. Primary title has law. Absolute tribal organization. Rank is higher than count. How do I get a trade higher? Th how, like, do you want me to start conquering? Because I have bad news on that front. Alright, fire spells. Yay. One thing I always like about like Crusader Kings 2 in general is if there's like a history to the world, as soon as you start the game, that history is pretty much out the window. Anything can happen. Like if you're doing just vanilla Crusader Kings 2, you could have like Charlemagne not be a thing. Like Charlemagne could die before he becomes Charlemagne. Or like his brother could become Charlemagne or there's a lot of different things, and when you add supernatural stuff to it, oh, it gets even better. You get, like, you know, uh, demonic children. You get, now you get, like, you know, children of destiny who are somehow able to speak Latin and are, have, get amazing stats because they're born special. 
Hey, three more years and this is gone. Oh, hey, we kissed uh, another cult of time. Small person. Look, can I just ask you to leave, please? Just please. Of course, advancements in medicine, me me medicine, medicine help us all. Okay, now you're over in Shornhelm. Quite agree to be exact. I'm guessing you're gonna get kicked out of there or killed very soon. Um, oh. Okay, that's potentially, that's going to cause problems. I think if like every time I play at this level, like Daedric Colts keep popping up, I'm going to consider that like an act. Well then, even then, I won't, like I'll have to like, pl I'd have to like play at a point where there is an Emperor and see how many Daedric Cults pop up. If like they, it goes down, then then I know for sure. But for now, it's just kind of guesswork on my part. Okay. Now the question is. <gasps> Yay! We are not going to die out. Oh, hold on, let me check. Yes, cognatic. Absolute cognatic, so doesn't matter. We're fine. Well, it's Gavokine, but we only have one thing to worry about, so we're fine. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. Uh, develop ruins. It'll cost 200. Okay, so that's probably not a good... So it's probably... It's going to take a while before we're going to be able to explore the Daedric ruins and, like, actually, like get all the cool modifiers from oh oh i've never explored a data ruin i wonder if like different stuff happens as you than like in um nordic ruins or alien ruins it's been a while since i've explored an alien ruin so it might be uh buy her something nice. I'm charitable. I'm not kind anymore, but I am charitable. I think the transmute thing is something I can do for other people as well. So I, like for my kid, I can I could immediately like cast a spell and have like gold be appearing in their inventory. That actually might not be a bad idea. I'm gonna wait till my kid is born before I, you know, go on any vision quests or whatever. I really don't want to have to, you know. Shleesh Getchi. Gish. Oh no! Oh, that's adorable! Look at that. Cute little lizard. Okay. Doctor, I need you to save Shulish, my daughter. Born under the sign of the ritual. Ooh, she's got a little, she's going to have a little help in that department. Born under the sign of the ritual. Plus one to intrigue, plus half, 0.5 to health. Which means that it's only a minus two, which is... Karina, the wife of Lord Protector Caius of the Heartlands, has been spending a few days in Padmea. It has been a very nice experience meeting her. Maybe our peoples are not that different after all. I mean, there's no point in not at least trying to see if we could be sent a non-aggression pact with Lord Protector Caius. I doubt he'll say yes, but oh no, he's sweet. We're just not gonna. Oh man. Okay, but at least we're we're in a non-aggression pact. Neither of us wants to fight the other. Neither of us has any reason to fight the other because we're on different ends of the world, but, you know. Mm. It's better than nothing. Uh... It's like two more years and two months until we're free of that. Um... And yeah, I'm still gonna... I'm gonna wait till... Shulish, Shulish is not going to die. To like, I have an heir that isn't going to die anytime soon. Uh, open my spell book. Let's see if there's anything I can do. Remove curse. I can't really do that. 
I can fortify hell. I just want to see if I can, like, you know, remove the sickly trait. Um, heal wounds. I don't think it counts as a wound. I don't think it counts as a disease or a symptom. Let's see. Okay, can't cure symptom. Can't cure disease. Can't heal wounds, I'm guessing. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna fortify health then. Hope that that. I'll cast a greater version of the spell. Plus three. Okay. Out of the danger zone. Don't need to worry about it for a while. Like, that should be enough to keep her alive. And that lasts... Actually, how long does that last? For ten years? Okay, yeah, she's gonna live. Like, all these are, like, right, that one is, oh, yes, hey, I'm now a journeyman healer. Oh, I don't know, maybe I don't want to found a merchant republic, because then I'm going to have to deal with the fact that they're, hmm? Uh, I don't want to do that. Ah, uh, oh man, my chancellor died. Okay, who's next? Uh, I don't want a semi-carter. Okay, we're gonna hire somebody. Let's see, open employment list. Let's employ a new chancellor. Matar Mij. Alright, you're good enough. You're a chancellor now. Also. Okay, I can't marry you then. So we're just gonna... Yeah, I might just adopt feudalism instead, because... Because this one, the fact that it requires you to be male, probably means that I'll lose the absolute cognatic, and that will potentially cause a lot more problems. So it'll probably be... <sighs> really wish that they changed that in... I know that this is like a basic, like, the engine doesn't support it, but they really need, th I really think they need to, like, that, um, Paradox should add that. I know it's not historical, but, like, there are game rules to make it more historical. You could, like, have that, like, have, like, a flag set for it, it to, like, return to the old rules. I don't know. I don't know. Like, even as a programmer, I know that, like, just saying, just add a flag is not... Like, there's a lot of potential problems involved with, you know, adding new rules that weren't there, or completely, like... Like, this could as could completely change the, uh... Uh, like, this... Like, it's not that small of a change if it's like hard coded in like it is messing with that hard code is dangerous I'd like them to do it but I understand that that's not something that can just be done ooh shard bolt wound see plus one learning plus four person skill cause it's like it casts a bolt of frost yeah I like it provides me a nice little edge Ooh, and Journeyman Healer also gives me a little edge in health, personal combat skill, learning, stewardship. Minus the intrigue, but that's just because it's the beginning step. 
Um, well, while I'm doing it, might as well upgrade the tribal stronghold to a walled tribal stronghold. And then the next thing is so probably going to need castle infrastructure to get stuff done. Or improved keeps. That's going to take tech points. Or it's spreading from over here, which is unlikely. Reminds me, you. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. They're doing it, they're doing it. Yep. Doesn't take much. Chase Creek will be taken. Oh, but it is dealing with a, you know, a her uh, heresy and it's dealing with an undead infestation. So, hey, on the plus side, they're inheriting a problem. Uh, let's see what's going on over in the rest of the world. Uh, let's see, Winterhold. Did Winterhold freaking take all of this? Interesting. Uh, let's see, you got the Rift, let's see, Dragonstar, Hammer Fell seems to be falling apart, that's bad. Daggerfall is, hmm. let's see, uh, truth, uh, after the Britonic conquest of Daggerfall, the war was won by Queen Tanoa the Tenacious, wait, so does that mean, no, you're still there. Ah. Well, I guess I'll uh, stop this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.